Hello, my name is Justice from SWAT, and I'm here to show you the accessibility options on PowerPoint. The accessibility options are very similar to the Word ones, but some people might get confused with how they apply to PowerPoint. So I'm here to show you how to do the basic stuff, like uh, how to put alt text in your pictures in PowerPoint, you know, uh, models, text, really any, really most of the basic stuff that you'll encounter if you're just doing a normal PowerPoint presentation, we'll make sure it's accessible to everyone. So, right now I'm just going to throw out my accessibility to make sure that as a base, what we may need to make sure what we need to do on every slide. See right here we're missing the slide title. If I click that, it'll give me the instructions. See right here? These are the instructions on how to make it accessible. Now, basically the easiest way to do it is give it a title. So. There we go. Now it's disability issues. Now let's see what happens if we add a photo. I'm just gonna take one of the take a really basic picture, something that I have on my computer, let me find. Now so this is our photo that we're choosing. Now, let's get that out of here. This will be our photo. Let me shrink it down to size. If I redo this, I redo my accessibility check. Let's see. Oh, also, PowerPoint accessibility, I forgot to mention this earlier. PowerPoint accessibility differs from Word accessibility that it has both an error section and a tips section, whereas the errors are more of the important stuff that you need to make sure that you cross all of them off to make it accessible to everybody. The tips simply just make it easier. They're not they're they're just optional. You don't need it to be accessible to everybody, they just make it easier. So right now we're gonna focus on the errors. Um because the tips are fairly uh they're fairly straightforward, you know. So, so in here, picture four, slide one. It needs alt text once, like like in the Word document. So simply we right click, we go to edit alt text, and we can add a description. Now I don't know if you can tell what the photo was, but it was a picture of two buildings with a parking lot behind them, with the forest behind that. So I'm simply going to call it buildings with a parking lot. For the description, I'm going to say the picture contains two buildings close to a parking lot, which is, oh, I misspelled lot, close to a parking lot, which is in front of a forest. I know that might not be the perfect description, but it says it's where we are on a bit of a time crunch for this video. I'm gonna edit that out. I don't have a perfect, I, I know it's not the perfect description, but it works, you know, you get the picture. Um, now, we may be asking what about 3D models and shapes and icons. That we don't actually, like, I, I can pull up, let me pull up a, uh, I'm gonna add a title, slide two, because I know that is an error. Um, I'm going to add a 3D model. Yes, 3D models. Well, if you're if you're adding your own thing, you'll have to add alt text to it. But a 3D model from the Microsoft online sources, they already come with alt text, so you won't actually need to get your own. Here, I'll sh I will be showing you now when I upload this bear. There we go. There it is. Now we can, as with the 3D model, we can spin it all around and everything, but as you notice, there are no errors with the accessibility checker. So most things that come from Microsoft will already have alt text. You only need to put the alt text on your own items, right? 
So, um, let me put in a transition between this one. See how it flies in like that? That's the transition that it has. It also does not need a description that is Final Fantasy Accessibility Checker. Like I said, anything that comes from Microsoft already has alt text and descriptions on it. You'll need to add this stuff to your own items. So I'm going to say that is it for our PowerPoint review for the accessibility options introduced by Microsoft. Um, if I will likely do one for Excel and so forth. Uh, if there are any more, please let me know and I will make an edit to this video. For now, it is goodbye. This has been Justice from North Bay High School's Help Desk, SWAT. Um, good night.